If, if you are struggling this morning with the besetting sin, if through your own disobedience you have brought misery and you brought the enemy upon yourself, I want to show you your way out. That's what this is all about this morning. Because there are so many people that are still in, in, in the church of Jesus Christ and in this church included that are not living in victory. They don't have the power over their sin. I mentioned this Friday night. A young man hands me a, uh, a note. He said, I've been saved for 14 years. 14 years I've been serving the Lord. But I've never I've never once been free from homosexuality. I've lived under this cloud. I've felt sometimes like taking my life. I've had no victory. I've had no joy. Here's a young man who's been sitting here in our midst for a number of years, praising the Lord, worshiping God, and living with this secret, living with this bondage, this slavery to sin. God's way is absolute freedom from the bondage, all bondage of all sin. You may not understand all the terms, how the Holy Ghost comes and gives us power if we will believe what God says, that through the Holy Ghost, all sin can be mortified and killed. Now, by our efforts, but by the effort and power of the Holy Ghost, and our trust and faith in everything He promised to do in us. No, 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 no. In your despair, the Lord is saying here in the Old Testament, you have the pattern, you have a picture of a people who are bound by their own disobedience, by their own sins. And the Lord says, I'm not coming to you to rebuke you. I'm not coming to add to your sorrow. He said, I've seen the groaning of your heart. I've seen that cry in you. I've seen you in the middle of the night when you cry and so God will I ever be free? I've bottled every tear you shed over your sin. And because you've reached out, and because you're hurting and you're grieving, if you will cry out to me with all of your heart, I'll send you a deliverer. I'll deliver you from your sin. I want you to know that the battle you're going through with sin, when he looks upon all of the hurt and the pain and the suffering, I believe my God has not changed. He never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he grieves with you. I don't care if it's gambling. I don't care if it's sex, drugs, lust. I don't care what it may be. When when you when you hate your sin and when when you in your misery, it brings such misery and pain to your life. When when you just begin to cry out, God hears that cry. He's moved by your pain, by your misery, deeply moved by it. 